One week ago today, a surprise tornado tore through Madison's east side, bringing upwards of 80 mile per hour winds and damaging homes and businesses along East Washington Avenue. Today, that cleanup still continues. New tonight, Chris Gothner has the update. Along East Washington Avenue, signs of tornado damage remain. A good portion of the Four Seasons car wash is still sealed with caution tape, and blue tarp contrasts with the brown roof of this house on Wyndall Avenue. But slowly but surely, the cleanup is happening. Step by step. We first introduced you to the Hayes family last week after a tree fell on their Lexington Avenue home. That tree is gone now, but they're still dealing with roof damage from the surprise twister. Nobody expect October. Compounding the problem for James and Tana Hayes is no insurance. They bought the house outright after Tana's brother died, and because of that, they say no company was willing to insure it. James and Tana say they've been trying to get it in good enough shape to get insurance, but this tornado has thrown them for a curve. Hopefully um, we can get it fixed up to where we can get insured. The Hayes are thankful for all the support they've gotten so far online as they raise funds to keep a roof over their kids' heads. Yeah. <laughs> we just basically are just trying to get um, you know, funding together so that we can take care of the roof before the snow comes. Alder David Ahrens, who represents this part of town, says city-led cleanup efforts are now over for the most part. I think it was a good um, uh, exercise in uh, how the city deploys uh, emergency services. And he says storm response likely cost the city a few hundred thousand dollars in overtime. For the Hayes, their expenses might not be quite that much, but they say they could still use some more help. We just want to get it back to normal and back to where, you know, where this won't happen again. On Madison's east side, Chris Gothner, WISC News 3. Friends of the Hayes held a fundraiser tonight in Cambridge where they raised more than $500. We have a link to their GoFundMe page up on our website, channel3000.com.